I'm throwing a challenge your way. How far can you go in 20 minutes, given a certain number of strokes that you get to take? That's the challenge today. Come join me in today's follow along workout. This workout is all about how much you can challenge yourself inside of a confined structure of number of strokes inside of 20 minutes. But as with every workout here with us here at Dark Horse, you know the drill, warm up, workout, cool down. So let's just get on to the machine to start our warm up. So go ahead and strap into your machine. Any machine flies here at Dark Horse, get strapped in, grab that handle, let's sit ready. And three, two, one, go. Nice and easy for our warm up here. Okay. So right now, just settling in. No real pressure on the handle. The objective here, just move. Tell your body that you're going to be doing something so that you don't surprise it. That's the last thing you want to do in a workout. You don't need to just like, boom, we're in it. Freak out, let's go. You need to be able to chill, tell your body, send the signals early, give your body time to accept it. Just say, hey, we're going for it. But first, I'm gonna let you like, you know, stretch out a little bit, shake out the cobwebs, get some blood flow going, get some good breathing in. I feel like there's a good lesson to life in this too. Sometimes giving yourself time to adjust, being patient, being methodical early on, allows you to go fast when it's time to sprint. It's pretty hard to go from zero to sprint. You ever tried just going cold turkey on a diet? Rarely does it work. Why is that? Well, because there was no prep work. You didn't get your body ready for it. You didn't get your mind wrapped around all of the new habits and the different foods you were gonna be eating. So you can do it hard for two weeks, maybe a month, maybe six weeks. And then you're like, oh, I miss my old ways too much. Wanna know what a better way is? Slowly change your habits, one at a time. Just focus on one thing at a time and be really gentle with the process. And before you know it, six months in, you have a toolbox full of new habits. And those let you make a more impactful change for the long run. And now you've learned stuff. And so it's easier to take the ideas and now sprint with them. Okay, now I wanna go, it's not really cold turkey at that point. Now I just wanna convert fully into whatever the new nutrition program is. Okay, with that being said, Let's go ahead and throw in a little drill work as we like to do so that you can get comfortable with the mechanics of the movement and get familiar with them. So in two strokes, we're gonna go to arms only. That's gonna be legs straight, hips open, just moving back and forth with the arms. That's one, that's two, arms only. All right, so notice right now, handle straight in, straight out. Establishing a good rhythm. Just moving. Notice there's no stopping at the front or the back. Here's a good place to practice what your elbows are doing. That question pops up in the comments occasionally. What do I do with my elbows? Do I squeeze them into my sides? Do I wing them out to the sides? Neither. Imagine that you're trying to touch your elbows behind you every stroke. Okay. Just a very natural pull through. In two strokes, let's add in the hip swing only. Legs are still gonna be straight. Keep them that way. Don't let those knees bend. Here we go. In two, one, hips. Let's go. So keeping that handle on a level. Make sure that you're not smashing it up or down, lifting it, not dropping it. All right, you're gonna have to activate those shoulders. Also notice that I'm being very patient in the way that I move forward. And then I put some force into it as I swing open. Whew. What we're doing right now is training you and I, we're training your order of operations. How does your body move through space and time appropriately? Okay, two more strokes and we're gonna add in the legs again for the full stroke. Just don't forget what we're doing because this is the foundation of the proper movement in the stroke, in two. That's one, that's two, here we go. Add in the legs. Ooh, there's some power. Hello. We found our bodies. How does that feel? You should feel like you've got a good strong leg push now. 
And then you get to uncurl, boom, the hips and the arms together. Drive your force. Get that flywheel or that water or whatever it is in your machine moving. Make it loud now. Let's go five more strokes. That's one, two, make it loud, three, four, last one, five. Go ahead and set that handle down. Woo. Unstrap if you like, you can stay strapped in because now we're gonna move right into the workout. So the workout, as I mentioned, 20 minutes. The goal here is max meters. How far can you go? Now, if your machine doesn't give you meters on your monitor, that's okay. Your goal is to maximize whatever score it's giving you. So if you only have calories on that machine, great, that's your number for the day. How high or how many calories can you burn on that machine in this workout? If you have you know, a machine that gives you meters, then that's what we're tracking, how many meters. Now, the confines of the workout, I'm going to give you ahead of time, normally I don't, but the way that this will work is that we're going to go five strokes on, five strokes off. Then 10 strokes on, 10 strokes off. 15, 15, 20, 20, 15, 15, 10, 10, five, five, up and down these hills. So this is a hill climb workout. The objective here is within the confines of those five strokes, that's when you hit it hardest, then the strokes off, you take a rest. So with that being said, let's set 20 minutes on the monitor. As always, I've got a concept too, so that's what I'm gonna talk you through. But again, regardless of the machine, you can get a great workout. From the main menu, select workout, that's the B button. New workout, D button. Single time, B button. It's on 30, I need to change it to 20. That's the C button once. 20 minutes, I'm gonna hit the check mark, that's the E button. 20 minutes on my screen, on my erg data, on my phone. I'm strapping in, you too. Get those foot stretchers tight. Grab that handle. We're gonna start with five strokes on. Nice, hard five strokes. And from there, I'm gonna count them and I'll keep you updated as we go. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. One, two, three, four, five. And nice, five easy. Essentially just light and easy, no effort on these off strokes. Two. I'm gonna hold a stroke rate 22 for all of our on pieces. That's four. So 22 is where I'm going. That's five. Here we go. 10 strokes hard. One. Two. Three. Four. Match my rate. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten easy. Well, I was all, all over the place on right there. It happens. We're all human. Mistakes are how we learn. I think that was three, four. <laughs> Please excuse me. Five. <laughs> The counting is gonna be the hardest part for me. Six. Seven. We'll throw you an extra one in editing if we need it. Eight. Nine. This one's gonna be 15 strokes. 10, here we go, 15 strokes. One. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, fifteen easy. One, two, taking it nice and easy here. Three, four, I gave myself a real job with this workout. Five, six, seven, eight, so much counting, nine, 10, 
11, 12, 13, breathing, getting ready to go, 14, going up to 20, 15, here we go, 20 strokes, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 19, 20, easy, woo -wee. breathe, 3, 4, 5, all I can do is count, 6, this is a prison of my own creation, 7, I'm gonna be counting for 20 minutes. Eight. I hope you love this. Nine. This is not what I was getting myself into. 10. Uh, <laughs> reminder to self. 11. Don't do this again. 12. 13. 14. Now, if you've gone off of me, 15, because you used a different stroke rate during the rest periods. 16, that's okay. You just do you. 17. 18. 19, this is gonna be 15 strokes now. 20, here we go, 20 strokes. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, Whew. one. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, sticking with me. Nine, learn to push, then learn to turn it off. Ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 10 strokes, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Easy. Huh. If you're grinding this out in your garage, your basement, your spare bedroom. Three, I think. <laughs> Good on you. Four. We work out here in our garages. Five. We don't need any fancy gyms. Six, maybe you're in a gym. Seven, and you're on that rowing machine, forgotten in the corner, covered in dust. Eight, good for you. Way to make it feel useful again. Nine, going five strokes after this one. 10, here we go, five strokes. 
One, two, three, four, five. Easy. One, Ooh. two, uh huh. Three, you've got this. Four, own it. Come on. Five, ten strokes. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten easy. You're doing great. Two, three, you're doing this for yourself. Four, for your family. Five, for your kids. Six, for your grandkids. Seven, for your future kids. Eight, finding that path to health. Nine, this is all for you. 10, here we go, 15 strokes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten, five more. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Fifteen easy. Two. One. Two. Past that ten minute mark. Three, that's over halfway. Four. Take some big exhales. Five, get that bad air out. Six, that used up oxygen. Seven. Eight, I promise you will inhale. Nine, but we don't exhale well. Exhale fully, that was 10. 11. 12. 13, 14, 15, here we go, 20, let's do it. One, Nineteen. Twenty. Twenty easy. One. Ooh. Two. Ooh. Three. Breathe. Four. Your breath is so important to performance. Five. And so forgotten. Six. Lung capacity. Seven. So important. Think about your lungs as a muscle. That was eight. We have to exercise them. Nine. Strengthen them. Learn to blow out. Ten. Just like you can flex that bicep. Eleven. You can flex those lungs. Twelve. The more you flex the lungs. Thirteen. Force that blow out. Fifteen. The 
stronger those lungs get, the more efficient they get at transferring oxygen. 16. The healthier they get. 17. Get those lungs strong. I feel like there's a great tagline in here. I'm gonna work on it. That was 19. That's 20, 15 strokes. Here we go. One. Fifteen. Fifteen easy. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Bringing the focus in. Nine. Ten. Five more. In this next set, we're going to cross over the five minute mark. That's three quarters of the way done. That's 11. Well, build that dark horse mentality. 13. Get tough. Squeeze one more second out of your split. 13. 13, I think. 14. 15, here we go, 10 strong. We got it. One, get tough. Two, do this for you. Three, how much can you push out of each stroke? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Easy. I'm steadily walking down on my split. Started at a 141, now I'm down at 136. Three. <laughs> you count them. Four. This is hard. Five. Five more. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Five strokes, here we go. I got you. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Easy for five. One. Two. Three. You can see the finish line in sight. Four, get tough, get grizzled. Five, ten hard, here we go. One, dig. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten. Ooh, ten easy. Ooh. My traps are getting tired. Two. Three. That says I'm shrugging too much. Four. Or maybe it's just right. Five. I'm trying to finish hard. Get that squeeze through at the end. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Here we go. Fifteen. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. 
Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Easy. One. Two. Three. We're gonna get the 20 strokes. Four, get prepped for it. Five. Keep the shoulders active. Six. Seven, handle level. Eight. Nine. We're just gonna squeeze it in. 10. 11. 12. 13. 14. 15, 20 strokes, here we go. Let's do it. Finish strong. Easy cruise. Tight through the line. Oh, we. Yeah. Easy. Now, just steady, easy rowing with me here. All intensity off. Uh. No stopping yet. When you're tired, the dark horse mentality says it's the best time to focus on your fundamentals. If you can nail good mechanics when you're exhausted, guess how much easier it is when you're exhausted in the middle of a piece? A lot easier. If the only time you focus on your mechanics is when you're fully rested, with no effort being put out, it's gonna be very hard to maintain when you're under duress or when you're being stressed by a workout. When you're tired is the time. So immediately after every workout, collect yourself. Unless it's like a 2K test, then, you know, if you have to bail off the machine and leave your shoes in the foot stretchers, that's okay. But otherwise, collect yourself, display that you have the mindset ready to go, to push yourself when you need it. Push yourself physically, push yourself mentally, and maintain or hold the standard. Let's take two more strokes. That's one. We'll move on to our stretch. That's two. Set that handle down. Unstrap. Oi, yay. Let's get right into the glutes. You probably got a healthy amount of power. So the glutes might be feeling it. Bring that right ankle up to the knee. Nice proud chest. And lean that chest forward. Get a deep stretch through that right glute, hamstring, fastest lateralis. That hip flexor. Gonna be feeling some of that contortion. Breathe. Bring your breathing rate down. Another common question in the comments, how do I breathe appropriately? You breathe the way that you naturally wanna breathe in the middle of a workout, but you keep a consistent breathing rhythm. Learn how many breaths per stroke feel good and don't ever stop it. Just change the rate of that number of breaths. For me, it's two breaths per stroke. I can scale it up to high, um, really quick two breaths per stroke or I can bring it down, right? Those are the opposite ends of the spectrum when it comes to stroke rate. Go ahead and switch legs. Left ankle up on the right knee. Acha! I feel it, I feel it. 
Oh, it's so good. And I love it all the time. I got a boop, boop into that glute. Uh, and a what, what is my hamstrings? Hopefully you're feeling this too. Okay, release, go ahead and take that right foot, put it up on the monorail and let's get a forward fold now. So this is gonna tap a little bit more into that high hamstring insertion. That's just the upper, upper leg. On the backside, give yourself just a fall forward. Woo wee, I'm sweaty. It feels good. Hopefully you do too. Did you earn it? Did you earn your workout today? Now, I got a challenge for you. Just because you worked out, doesn't mean that you can eat whatever you want for the day. If you're focusing on nutrition, weight loss, things like that, take this workout and feed that into the mentality of I've done something amazing for myself and now I'm gonna do something else amazing as in I'm going to go make a good choice with my food afterwards. Take that left foot, bring it up. One of the things that often this weird relationship establishes itself between fitness and food and we say, well, if I work out, then I earn my food. It doesn't work that way. That's not the relationship. The fitness helps to bring strength, alignment, coordination, balance, aerobic activity, that lung capacity to your body. Food is our fuel. And if you choose good foods, whole foods, generally real foods, you kind of can't go wrong. Meats, fruits and vegetables, nuts and seeds, some fruit, little starch, no sugar. You can accomplish that and you can put good foods in your body. Well, that's your fuel source. So now you have an extra clean fuel source to fuel you for the workouts, which help you develop the other areas. Fitness is not just a calorie burner. It helps you with so many different areas of your life. Go ahead and take that foot down now. Put your hands on the back of your seat. Drive your hands down into the ground, lift the chest, get some chest opening. And so in conclusion, keep your nutrition choices in alignment with your choice to show up for this workout today. I mean it. Report in the comment below, in the comments below, how well you're doing and that you are committing to taking this as a one good step for the day and that you got another good step to go. So if this is your first time here, you just finished a workout with us, hit that subscribe button, the bell next to it, because then you're gonna get every workout that we come out with. So you'll always have a feed of workouts. And if you're looking for more of these intermediate or advanced workouts, check out this advanced playlist like right here when you're looking for something to step it up another notch.